So Aaron, Debbie wanted me to show you how to make this uh, changing, not changing table. Good Lord, you got a changing table. This is a dog grooming table, all right? Uh, it's been a long time since I've had a changing table. So anyway, it's 48 inches long. So, it's, you know, four feet long by about, oh, 17 inches wide, 16 inches wide. Actually, I made the bottom is 16. It's a third of a sheet of plywood. You know, if you take a, if you got a half a sheet of plywood and you rip it 16 inches, you got a good standard length left over. So this is like uh, half inch plywood here, and then standard one by three cheap white wood lumber pine that you get at Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, I also have this thin piece of masonite, okay, which is sort of a sacrificial board. There's a smooth side and there's a rough side. Mm -hmm. That's a rough side. And then there's a smooth side. So I put it smooth side down, rough side up, and it just fits in here. It's pretty tight, no glue or anything. That way if it, all, if it gets scratched up, damaged or whatever, you can change it out. Plus it's kind of rough so the dogs, you know, don't slide, don't slide out. The other thing that's important, I think, is just having an edge to keep the dog from tumbling out. If you look on the bottom, I made these cleats on both sides that fit the sawhorse, okay? And those are just screwed in, and it fits the standard sawhorses. The height of this of the sawhorses are about three feet tall, okay? And so uh, whatever your sawhorse is like, you know, you can adapt your cleats or whatever. The reason for it is just to keep it from moving uh, when you're doing the grooming. It, it locks it in place on the sawhorse so that it doesn't go anywhere. And one other thing that I did when I screwed these edges to the plywood, I've got a screw right here, and that kind of shows me that's the center of my cleats. And I've got the same thing on the other side. So when I set up my sawhorses, it's real easy to see if I have my, you know, cleats underneath lined up with my saw horses. The other component of this uh, extravagant dog grooming table is a cleat, all right? You, you know, whatever works for you. For me, I store it on a wall. So I take, uh, I take this cleat and I've got a hook hanging on the wall so I can hang this thing up, all right? I guess the downside of this thing is it's it's kind of it's not real heavy i mean it's no problem for you know a muscular young man like you to handle it <clears throat> but it might be a struggle for natalie it probably weighs 12 or 15 pounds i don't know it's kind of big and bulky so i don't know i tend to i tend to be the one setting it up for debbie but if you're the groomer you won't have any problems uh, i think that's it cut